There's an interesting sentence about the great scientist Louis Agassiz and his discovery of the idea of an ice age. So first of all, I'll just point out we have a split at the beginning between in which and when. So and this is modifying the word age. An age is a time period. So an age when something happened, that's correct. And also an age in which something happened, that's also correct. So this is a rare case in which the sentences begin with an obvious split, but all of them are correct. So now we'll move on to the verb, existed versus had existed. We have it flip-flopping back and forth between these two forms. Had existed is the past perfect. The past perfect is used to compare that, uh, that action to some other action in the past. Before I went to the store, I had gone to the movies, something like that. In other words, we use it to place an action previous to another action in the past. Well, here, in this idea of an ice age, we're comparing the past to the present. There are areas that are now temperate areas, and at one point there were ice sheets there. But we're not comparing two past actions, so we do not need the past perfect. In fact, the past perfect is incorrect in this context. So choices A and D are out. The simple past existed is correct. So that leaves answers B, C, and E. Now we'll look at these more carefully. In C, we have this lovely phrase, where there were areas now temperate. A, a gigantic train wreck, really wordy and indirect. In general, using the there were, is, is almost always going to be a more indirect way to say something. So we'll just nuke C. And then in E, we have an equally awkward in areas now that are temperate. Um, that just feels really funny. And part of the reason it feels funny is that the adverb now modifies the verb are and should be next to it. So if we just move that in areas that are now temperate, that would make much more sense. That would be much smoother. But having the now offset and not touching the verb it's modifying, um, that is what really gives that an awkward feel. And so right away, that just narrows everything down to B. And B is free of grammatical error. It is direct. It is clear. It is sleek. It is by far the best answer choice.